There are lots of YouTube videos demonstrating how to send cool effects in iMessage like this one. But what I want to focus on in this video are the keyboard shortcuts available on iPhone that you can use to speed up typing. And by far the one I use most frequently is switching the keyboard to a trackpad to move the cursor. If you are one of those people who still fix up typos by simply tapping on the text where you'd like the cursor to be, then honestly stop driving yourself crazy. All you need to do is press and hold on the spacebar to activate the trackpad. Keeping your thumb or finger on the screen, you can now easily move the cursor to your typo and correct it like so. If you tend to frequently use three dots to keep your recipient guessing what's coming next, rather than hitting the period key three times, just long press on it once to bring up three dots as an alternative option. Most of the keys on your keypad will have these alternate character options. Long pressing on the forward slash brings up the backslash option, or a long press on the dollar key brings up other currency symbols. And if you switch between typing in English and another language, many of the letters have alternative options that include accents and other diacritic symbols. This character switching function also applies to the whole keyboard. Say you want to quickly add a number. Rather than tapping one, two, three, then on the number, and then again on one, two, three to switch back to the main keyboard, simply press on one, two, three and slide your finger up to the number. When you let go, the keypad will automatically switch back to the main keyboard, saving you two extra taps. Now you could do a similar tap and slide to add a period at the end of each of your sentences, but an even quicker alternative is just a double tap on the spacebar, which does exactly the same thing. If you quickly switch over to Safari, the period key has other hidden options. Press and hold on the key when typing a web address to quickly bring up a list of domain endings to choose from. This can be particularly useful if you access a lot of school pages that use the edu domain, or if like me you live outside the US and use a different country code at the end of websites that you frequently visit. If you really want to make use of alternative characters, why not try creating a bulleted list? Long press on the dash to bring up the option of a bullet. Rinse and repeat as often as you like to create your list. Of course, you can use this shortcut in any app, including Notes, where I find the bulleted list particularly useful. Another shortcut that I find useful that you can use in any app is the double and triple tap to select text. Double tap on a word to select the individual word, or alternatively triple tap to select the whole text like so. In some instances, you don't even need to use the keyboard to quickly respond to a message. Long pressing on a message brings up a list of tap back emojis that you can use to send a quick thumbs up, thumbs down, or several other options. If like me, you tend to type with one hand and often find that some keys are just beyond your reach, then try shifting the keypad left or right. Long press on the emoji key to bring up the keyboard options, and here you can choose to move your keyboard left or right depending on what hand you type with. If you prefer using the one-sided keyboard, you can make it permanent by again long pressing on the emoji key, choosing keyboard settings, and clicking on one-handed keyboard. Setting it left or right will make it the default option every time you use the keyboard, and then you can long press to change it back to normal. Finally, if you find yourself constantly typing the same phrases over and over again, you can create your own text shortcuts. Again, long press on the emoji icon to access the keyboard settings and choose text replacement. Here you can see I have already created one for typing my email address, but to create a new one, we'll click on the plus button in the top corner of the screen. Then it's a matter of typing the phrase you wish to use and the keys to activate the phrase. So here I'll add no worries and use NW as the prompt. Now when I type NW on my keyboard, the phrase appears as an option. So those are my 10 keyboard shortcuts for iPhone and iPad. If you found the video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hitting subscribe for lots more of the same content. And you might also be interested in finding out how you can hide messages in iMessage and 10 tips to make Safari really useful. My name is Anthony, until next time, thank you very much for watching.